Hello, boys and girls. Our lesson today is about unit rates. Let's get started. Here are some important vocabulary about rates and unit rates. A rate is a ratio that compares two quantities measured in different units. We already know that a rate is the ratio that compares two different units, two different amounts with two different units. A unit rate is a rate for one unit of given quantity. Unit rates have a denominator, which is one all the time. Joy's heartbeat, 150 beats in minutes. What is the beat per minute? The rate is going to be 150 heartbeats to two minutes. A unit rate, divide or multiply. How am I going to get a denominator, which is one? So first of all, I want you to write the ratio, which is 150 to two, as you see here. It's a ratio that, that compares two quantities that have different units. As you see here, heartbeats and minutes. And as, as you see, I'm writing the ratio as a fraction. Then I want to find the unit rate using, of course, division or simplification. So you can divide or simplify. How are you going to change two to one? I am going to divide the numerator and denominator by two. So you will get 75 per unit. Find the unit rate. Amy can read 88 pages in four hours. What is the unit rate? How many pages can she read per hour? What does that mean? I need to change the four hours to one hour. That means I am simplifying my fraction. The first step, you have to write the numbers as a fraction or as a ratio. 88 divided over four. Divide the denominator by four. This way, you are going to change the four to one. And 88 divided by four, that's equal to 44. Twenty-two page. I mean, twenty-two pages per hour. Using unit rate, you can find the missing terms of equal ratios. Use the unit rate and see it's equal to another ratio. Solve what is missing by dividing or multiplying. Let's see how. This is an example. Joe's car goes at twenty-five miles per gallon of gasoline. How far can it go on eight gallons of gasoline? So for twenty-five per one gallon out of one. And the other ratio, this is the unit rate, I have, we have, he, ha, he goes 25 miles in uh, using one gallon. What if they are eight gallons? The missing term here in this ratio is the number of miles. So I am going to multiply the denominators here, one times eight, and I'm going to multiply the numerators, 25 also by eight. The numerator by the denominator. This, this is called the brisk crossway. I multiply uh, the 25 by the 8 and the 1 also by the 8. And that's equal to 200. As you see, 25 times 8 is 200. So he is going to use 200 gallons of gasoline. He's going to move, uh, to move 200 miles in 8 gallons. Comparing unit prices. Now, how am I going to compare unit rates? Use division to find the unit prices of two products. Then you can compare and see which one is less and which one is more. Joyce is sold in, in two different sizes. A 48 fluid ounces bottle costs $2.07. And 32 fluid ounces bottle go, costs $1.64. Which is the better, better buy? Which one is, of course, less? Uh, first of all, you need to find the unit rate. Uh, let's write the ratios, 2 and uh, 7 hundreds divided by 48. And the other ratio is going to be uh, 1.64 over 32. The missing term here, first of all, as I told you guys, we need to find the unit rate. How I am going to divide the denominators by uh, itself. And of course, I have to divide the numerator with the same number. 48 divided by 48 is 1. And now 2.7 uh, divided by 48, that will give you uh, 43,125. Uh, and uh, the other one is going to be 0 0.05125. 125. When you divide denominator by itself, get the unit rate as we did in the previous lesson. How do you get the unit rate? By dividing the denominator by itself and the numerator by the denominator. 
Now you can compare. This is four sensed pair, uh, one uh, fluid ounces, ounce, and here is five sensed pair, one fluid ounce. Which one is the best buy? The button is the better value. Now your homework time, please refer to the examples that you have in this in these slides. Try to copy them and uh, start solving them on your own and check your answers. So when you compare two different uh, units or two different rates, you need to get the unit rate for each one of them as we are dividing the numerator by denominator. And this way you can compare which price is less or more. Thank you and see you in the next video.